Hello, Matt and Mike. My name's uh, Paul Hell. Uh, I've got a question. Last season you said uh, there'd be a big announcement. Uh, could you elaborate on what it is? Uh, yes, Paul. Um, and I'm answering this on Matt's behalf. But uh, the plan was last year to try and get a team or pairs championship organised. Um, it's still something that we're, we're working on and something that mills, may still come off. But by, what, by a team, I meant like perhaps Lee Adams and Mark Laram as Owen brothers. So rather than riding as uh, a team in the British League, they would be riding as their sponsors' teams. So then you'd have like Christoph Sigelski and Jason Crump under the LMB banner. And this would be a big event. And we were possibly looking at holding it indoors at somewhere like the NEC. Um, it's not dead, but obviously it would take a lot of organising. It didn't come off last year, and it may not come off for another year or so, but that was the announcement that we were planning on making. But we've had to shelve it for various reasons, um, and obviously it would be quite an expensive thing to put on, uh, but we think it would be well supported. So, fingers crossed for the future and we'll see what we can do. My name is Keith Barnard and I'm from Bournemouth. When are you going to bring back Magnus Setterstrom into the side? Uh, yes, Keith. I mean, Magnus is a big favourite here at Paul. Um, he's been one of those unfortunate riders, perhaps, that's had a, a difficult average to fit into teams at the beginning of season. Um, but I'm sure if this interview was being conducted with Magnus, he would say that uh, he loves riding for Paul and he'll come back and help us at any time. Um, again, it was very difficult to fit him in th this year with his average and obviously with the rolling averages we felt that we were better served by having uh, Lucas Dremel and Bjarne Pedersen in the team. Uh, but we have actually included Magnus in our British League Cup squad. We have to declare 10 riders and he is now actually included in our British League Cup squad. So if you're a Magnus fan, keep watching this space because uh, he could well be back to help us out before the end of the season. Hi, I'm Sharon. This is Karen, my sister. Have you ever considered an airbed? Yes, yeah, Sharon and Karen. It's, uh, it's obviously a good question. We are obviously always looking at riders' safety because, I mean, obviously we don't want any riders to be injured as uh, obviously, you know, if, if it's your own riders in particular, it can affect your chances in the championship. So, yes, we have looked at an air fence. We've had many samples down here. We had an Australian one uh, during the winter, which we were looking at quite closely. And while, while we feel that they are of a big benefit, really, on certain tracks, uh, we actually went in another direction during the course of the winter. If you now closely look at our safety fence, it's now a sprung loaded safety fence, which means that if anyone hits it, in particular around the posts, they will have like a shock absorber effect, but while still maintaining that we've got the mesh fence. Um, the problem you get with the air fences, of course, is visibility from the spectators side of the arena. And uh, we've looked at our arena here particularly on the third and fourth bend where the spectators area is lower and we feel that spectators will be very much hampered if we were to put an air fence in. So we've tried to come up with our own idea, copying something along the Swedish idea of a sprung loaded fence in the hope that it will provide extra safety for the riders. Um, but obviously if it doesn't work, and, and so far, fingers crossed, um, it, it has been okay. Um, but if it doesn't work, we will certainly look at other means, and if eventually it means going for a full air fence, that's what we'll do, because obviously riders' safety is paramount to us all. Well, our thanks to the promoters for putting us right on those points. If you have something that you'd like to put before the promoters, then of course you can contact us here at the stadium or via our website on www.piratevideos.co.uk. But for now, that is all we've got time for, for this edition anyway. It's a wrap. And uh, from Rob, from Graham, from me, Nigel Leahy, thank you very much for watching Pirate Videos, and we'll continue the story on our next edition.
Tchau, tchau.